Hey guys, Dave here. I got me a hankering for some sausage and rice, but I wanted a different. I wanted it spicy, flavor-packed, tomato-ish, if you know what I mean. So I decided to make up this zesty sausage Italian rice, and it came out absolutely incredible. So let me show you how to make this. So the first thing you want to do is slice up some hot Italian sausage and I slice them diagonally. I guess you could take the casings off and crumble them, but they look a lot better in the casserole when they're chunked and sliced. And if you don't like hot, you could use medium or mild too. Then fire up the old stove. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil to a pan over medium high heat. Put those yummy sausage in and fry them up until they're basically cooked through and a beautiful golden brown. And like I say, you don't have to use hot. You can use whatever sausage you like, even a honey sausage. But then again, it wouldn't be zesty Italian. And why am I making this video? Mamma mia. So in light of that rambling, maybe, uh, I don't know, Italian sausage would be the best to use. Now that sausage is nicely fried up, we're going in with half a small chopped onion. Three cloves of chopped garlic that I love so much. Half a julienne red bell pepper just for some color and that little bit of sweetness. A cup and a half or two cups of medium chopped green beans. And then, and only then, about a cup of sliced button mushrooms, and this is about six or seven of them. Now I'm just going to give everything a good toss together, and isn't this looking superbly wonderful or something like that? Oh, just look at those colors come out, guys. And we haven't even added seasoning yet, and everything is beginning to smell oh so good. Speaking of seasoning, in with half a teaspoon of basil, even fresh is better if you've got it. A good heaping teaspoon of that wonderful Italian seasoning that I use on everything. Another half teaspoon of oregano or oregano. Of course, a few good cracks of salt. And remember, you just gotta have that ground black pepper about a teaspoon or so. And I don't know what it is with me and ground black pepper, I must have been a papali in a previous life. Give everything another quick tossing and turning. Of course, this is just my choice of seasoning. Be creative and use whatever you like, you know, some paprika, some hot pepper flakes, whatever you so desire. Then go ahead and add in a cup of washed long grain uncooked rice. A medium can of drained iced tomatoes. Now, I use the zesty, spicy Italian. Makes all the difference in the world. Once again, a tossing we will go, and you're probably saying you do a lot of tossing in this recipe. Well, you know, it keeps you healthy, fit, and awake of all things. And lastly, we were going in with two cups of chicken stock or broth, whatever you want to say. And you can use vegetable stock, but I wouldn't use beef. It's a little bit overpowering. Bring this to a good boil, and once again, we're over medium-high heat here. Slip a lid on and let it simmer away for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, while the rice is cooking, we're going to grate up about a cup and a half or two cups of that wonderful, ooey-gooey mozzarella cheese. And we'll just set this aside because we're going to need it later. After about 15 minutes, that rice is done, and just look at this, guys. Now, here's the thing. If you were using a cast iron pan to cook this, you could just go ahead and slip that cheese on and put it into an oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. But I'm not going to. I'm going to get all fancy-dancy here. But, I mean, it does look good right now, even without the cheese. I'd go ahead and eat this just as is. But, you know, we got to go that extra step. And grab up some of that ever-so-delicious mixture and put it into a casserole dish. And I just had to use this casserole dish because it's the one I bought just for this video. Doesn't it look pretty, guys? And believe me, this is smelling ever, ever so good. Dave's getting excited. And you guessed it, on with that mozzarella cheese that we grated up. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle this on it. I didn't smooth the, the mixture out too much because I wanted to kind of rustic when it comes out of the oven. Now into a 375 degree Fahrenheit. That's about 190 Celsius. I don't know. I always get those mixed up. For about 10 or 15 minutes until that cheese melts beautifully. After about 10 or 15 minutes, just look at this, guys. It's bubbly, it's cheesy, it smells absolutely intoxicating. Just incredible, but don't go away yet because we got a couple other things to do and say here. Because we are going to garnish this up with a bit of parsley just to make it look all fancy-like. And I mean, I don't know about you, but I would not be ashamed to walk in and present this on my dinner table. 
And all the dinner guests are going to say, how on earth did you do this? And you're going to say, ah, just something I done through together. And by the way, we have many more casserole dishes just as good as this one on the channel. And my friends, when you grab this up and bite into it, it is everything I said at the beginning of the video. It is zesty, it is flavor packed, it is tomato ish. Absolutely stunningly good. If you want to impress your dinner guest and your family, you just have to make this. Believe me, I wouldn't lie to you. And as I always say, if you're hungry for more, like and subscribe.